What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul. This is the Leads Therapy uh, and I appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't done so already, if you could hit the subscribe button, like the video, share the video. Any comments that you want to make, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Um, this video isn't going to take very long to make. It's going to be quite short. It's going to be quite sweet. We were shit. There's no two other ways about it. Um, I don't want to use the term bottle job or anything like that. We were just appallingly crap. There's, there's no, you know, there's no right or wrong way about it. We were poor. Farker set us up wrong. The selection was completely wrong. QPR, they didn't even bully us. They didn't even have to bully us. We just, we didn't turn up to the game. It's that simple. Um, congratulations to Leicester uh, on getting promoted back to the Premier League. Fair play. You've been very, very good throughout the season. Even with your wobbles, you've still managed to maintain it. I'm going to say it now. Congratulations to Ipswich as well, who will probably bag the other um, promotion slot. Fair play. Phenomenal season coming up from League One and doing what you've done all season. You've just got to give big congratulations. Um, let's let's go through it in in the in the easiest way possible, uh, and 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 start from the beginning. Melier, shit. Furpo probably the best player out of everybody on the pitch, and that's that's slim. Um, Ampadu, shit. Rodon, shit. Uh, Byram, shit. Uh, Nonto, shit. Um, let's see. There's a theme here. Um, Gruev, mm, Gray, struggled. I'm loath to call him shit, shit, but it wasn't brilliant. Somerville, Championship player of the season. Are you having a laugh? That's all I've got to say about that. Rutter. Appalling. Absolutely appalling. And I, you know, stand up for it and big up the guy. Mercurial, all of that kind of stuff, but absolutely appalling. There's no other way to describe him. Peru, I... <sighs> Peru cannot play in a um, in a four two three one. He can't. That's not what he's set up to do. That's not the way that he plays. And unfortunately, he just kept losing and losing and losing and losing the ball, and then was completely anonymous throughout the entire game. Um, let's see. Joseph was all right when he came on. Immediately pulled the save out that we should have got a corner from that we didn't. Uh, who else came on? Anthony again looked better. Um, Joseph, sorry, Geltart that came on, ran more in the cameo appearance that he had than Piru did pretty much for the entire game. Uh, who else came on? I'm just trying to think. I don't know, and I don't really care. I think that's, in a game of that importance, and playing against a team that's fighting against relegation with one of the worst home records in the league... And we don't, we just don't turn up. We get turned over four nil, and we were all taking the piss out of Southampton for losing five nil. Where does that put us? Where does it put us? I just, I am so disappointed in the team as a whole and Farker because I think he got his selection completely wrong. If you're going to play Peru, you have to play a four four two. That rhymed. But yeah, if you're going to play. Peru, then you do. You need to play a four four two. He is not a target man. He is a run onto the ball and finish kind of player. That's that's what he does. That's where he's good. Um, just Nonto was being petulant again, rolling around and complaining. I ain't got time for that. Get on with it and play the game. And he didn't. And then Somerville, like I said, player of the season, PFA player of the season. You just no, absolutely not. And this is my little bugbear that I have with um, with Somerville is as great as he is, and he is a very good and talented footballer, his ego can sometimes get above him. And I think he didn't show up tonight. And he needed to show up, and he didn't. So, yeah, not good, not happy. Uh, I think it's pretty much playoffs for us, because Leicester are not going to cock it up. They can't. They can't do. They've they've had their little bit of a wobble. I think they'll be absolutely fine in the next, in the next couple of games. Um, so, yeah. Do we go up through the playoffs? Who knows? If we don't go up through the playoffs, what happens? Um, Somerville and Nonto go 100%. 
they, they won't be here next season. But yeah, Somerville and Nonto definitely go because we need that 70 million. Um, what else happens after that? I don't think it's going to be the fire sale in terms of that everybody thinks it's going to be. We have one more season in the championship should we stay in the championship. Um, but yeah, there's just, just no legislating for that that performance. Something wasn't right. The fact that no changes were made at halftime was absolutely ridiculous. That first half performance is the worst that we have played by by a country mile. And the thing that's stupid or so stupid about that, QPR didn't even have to try. We just gave we gave it to them. But that's taking nothing away from QPR. Congratulations to them. They they played the situation and they won. No two ways about it. That's that's all that's all you, you can say about that. Um this is going to be quite a, a short video. And I know I'm going to get it in the comments from some people. That's fine. I'm thick enough skin to be able to take it. You know, talk amongst yourselves in the comments for how poor we were. That's part and parcel of this channel. It's therapy. This is me getting it off my chest. Um, at least them tickets that were up for 600 odd quid on um, on resale sites might come down in price now. And, you know, like I said, there's an optimist side of me that says, well, maybe Ipswich do cock it up, but I just, I don't think they will. We've had it in our hands and we've won one in five and we had it in our hands, absolutely had it in our hands to to be able to, to go up and we cocked it up. It's as simple as that. There's no, there's no two ways about it. And Falk has to take some of the responsibility for it and the players have to take a huge responsibility for it as well because I don't know what happened to the team before the international break versus after the international break, but something's not right. I don't know. Maybe they all need to have a scrap and sort it out themselves and come out fighting. But yeah, playoffs looks like that's what we're going to be getting. And if we get that, that's what we deserve. Do we make it through the playoffs? After tonight's performance, I say absolutely not. But, you know, we live in hope. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, please also... Don't forget to leave uh, comments as well. Share the video around. And yeah, um, I'm just disappointed. I just didn't expect that from those players. Bearing in mind that three of those players are in the team of the season. There's just no legislating for it. There's no excuse for it. And also as well, I think the club should reimburse all of the away fans that went to that game because that was shocking. Take care and we will see you next time.